which is a bit earlier, it dates um, 4,000 or a little bit earlier than 12,000 years ago. There have been earlier points that have been found. Um, your trail is, your, your hiking trail is going through a place that people live for thousands of years. I need a lemonade sign. It was most likely small groups of people, family groups, living at different locations in the site. Uh, and leaving behind material culture, leaving behind artifacts, uh, post moles, evidence of structures, evidence of past meals, uh, and doing this generation after generation after generation for, in this case, we think 13,000 years. Over in this corner, on the east end, this is what they were just working on this morning, and this is, so there's basically no artifacts. Uh, we found that in this pit that keeps going further down, but you can see clearly here, if y'all see, are a series of these circular features here that would have been part of an ancient structure. With this information, we've, we've basically they've excavated over 500 sites combined between Fort Polk and Kasachi National Forest in western Louisiana over here. And we've never found anything like this that would that would suggest permanent occupation. His phone is yep. that part of the that's part okay. of it. That's part of the point. I was like And we can basically put them together like puzzle pieces all together and see the distribution of artifacts over both space and time. So between the looting and the, the hurricane damage, we were really in danger of, of losing this site over time. It's like walking into the archive, finding a book that is so rare, it's one of a kind, and it, it predates writing itself. Um, and it's like tearing a page out of that book and walking off with it. And were any of these looters from, uh, are they local in general? The name of the law, it's Archaeological Resources Protection Act. So it's actually a felony, it's a federal felony. Uh, and that kind of gives you a sense that there's a lot of interesting things coming out of here. We want to better understand, you know, the human aspects, how people, how people lived in ancient times, tell their stories as best we can with the little bit of information that we have left. And you pretty much draw out a shape based on what other things have you found like over here like I brought on some pottery story. And so it's it's really uh, the earliest best known culture for 